Languages of Asia, Wikipedia article audio. There is a wide variety of languages spoken throughout Asia, comprising different language families and some unrelated isolates. The major language families spoken on the continent include Altaic, Austroasiatic, Austronesian, Caucasian, Dravidian, Indo-European, Semitic, Siberian, Sino-Tibetan and Taikade. They usually have a long tradition of writing, but not always. Language groups Sino-Tibetan Indo-European Altaic families Mundakmer Taikade Austronesian Dravidian Afroasiatic Siberian families Caucasian families Small families of Southern Asia Creoles and Pigeons Sign languages Official languages The major families in terms of numbers are Indo-European and Dravidian in South Asia and Sino-Tibetan in East Asia. Several other families are regionally dominant. Sino-Tibetan includes Chinese, Tibetan, Burmese, Karen and numerous languages of the Tibetan Plateau, Southern China, Burma, and Northeast India. The Indo-European languages are primarily represented by the Indo-Iranian branch. The family includes both Indic languages and Iranian. In addition, other branches of Indo-European spoken in Asia include the Slavic branch, which includes Russian in Siberia, Greek around the Black Sea, and Armenian, as well as extinct languages such as Hittite of Anatolia and Tocharian of Turkestan. A number of smaller, but important language families spread across Central and Northern Asia have long been linked in an as yet unproven Altaic family. These are the Turkic languages, Mongolic languages, Tunguzic languages, Korean, and Japonic languages. Speakers of Turkish are believed to have adopted the language, having instead originally spoken the Anatolian languages, an extinct group of languages belonging to the Indo-European family. The Munday Khmer languages are the oldest family in Asia. They include Vietnamese and Khmer. The Taikade languages of southern China spread in historic times into Southeast Asia, where Thai and Lao are official languages. The Austronesian languages include the languages of the Philippines and most of the languages of Indonesia, such as Malay and Tagalog. The Dravidian languages of southern India and parts of Sri Lanka include Tamil, Kannada, Telugu, and Malayalam, while smaller languages such as Gandhi and Brawai are spoken in central India and Pakistan respectively. The Afroasiatic languages are presently represented by the Semitic branch spoken in Southwest Asia. It includes Arabic, Hebrew, and Aramaic, in addition to extinct languages such as Akkadian. The modern South Arabian languages contain a substratum influence from the Cushitic branch of Afroasiatic, which suggests that Cushitic speakers originally inhabited the Arabian Peninsula alongside Semitic speakers. Besides the Altaic families already mentioned, there are a number of small language families and isolates spoken across northern Asia. These include the Uralic languages of Western Siberia, the Yenisean languages, Yukagir, Nivk of Sakhalin, Ainu of Northern Japan, Chukotko Kamchatkan in easternmost Siberia, and just barely Eskimo Aleut. Some linguists have noted that the Koreanic languages share more similarities with the Paleo Siberian languages than with the Altaic languages. The extinct Ruan Ruan language of Mongolia is unclassified, 
and does not show genetic relationships with any other known language family. Three small families are spoken in the Caucasus, Kartvelian languages, such as Georgian, Northeast Caucasian, such as Chechen, and Northwest Caucasian, such as Circassian. The latter two may be related to each other. The extinct hero urartian languages may be related as well. Although dominated by major languages and families, there are number of minor families and isolates in South Asia and Southeast Asia. From west to east, these include The eponymous pidgin language developed with European trade in China. Of the many creoles to have developed, the most spoken today are Chavacano, a Spanish-based creole of the Philippines, and various Malay-based creoles such as Monado Malay influenced by Portuguese. A very well-known Portuguese-based creole is the Kristang, which is spoken in Malacca, a city-state in Malaysia. A number of sign languages are spoken throughout Asia. These include the Japanese Sign Language family, Chinese Sign Language, Indo-Pakistani Sign Language, as well as a number of small indigenous sign languages of countries such as Nepal, Thailand, and Vietnam. Many official sign languages are part of the French Sign Language family. Asia and Europe are the only two continents where most countries use native languages as their official languages, though English is also widespread. Bangladesh India Extinct languages of the Fertile Crescent such as Sumerian, Elamite and Proto-Euphradian, extinct languages of South Asia, the unclassified Harappan language, small language families and isolates of the Indian subcontinent, Burushaski, Kusanda, and Nihili. The Veda language of Sri Lanka is likely an isolate that has mixed with Sinhalese, the two Andamanese language families, Great Andamanese and Ongan, Sentinelese remains undocumented to date, and hence unclassified, Isolates and languages with isolate substrata of Southeast Asia, Kanaboy, Ingano, and the Philippine Negrito languages Manide and Umare Dumaga, language isolates and independent language families in Arunachal, Digoro, Hrusish, Mitsu, Puroic, Sionjik, and Kobwa, Mongmin. Scattered across southern China and Southeast Asia, Several Papuan families of the Central and Eastern Malay Archipelago, languages of Halmahura, East Timor, and the extinct Tambora of Sumbawa. Numerous additional families are spoken in Indonesian New Guinea, but this lies outside the scope of an article on Asian languages.